have a biblical worldview. One half of 1%. So the kids that are in high school and college right now, one half of 1% of them believe the Bible. That's exactly what's happening here. He said, because you have married foreign women, your children no longer speak the language of Judah because we have chased after foreign gods called careers, called uh, uh, pleasure, called whatever you want to call them. Our children no longer speak the language of God. They no longer know about Him. And this is an urgent problem. So we live with urgency because death is inevitable, saints. Every one of us in this room is going to face it. And everybody that we know will face it. We have to live with urgency because people are important. Right? They bear the image of God. And the scripture says that it's God's will that all men repent and come to a knowledge of Him. But how will they hear if nobody tells them? How will they hear if there are no witnesses? That's where you and I come in. But urgency is also important because Christ's return is imminent. The scripture teaches throughout the Bible to expect the return of Jesus Christ at any moment. And I can't help but think about how we live, how I live. There are times when I'm pretty excited about what's going on here on earth that I give no thought to the return of Christ. And because I give no thought to the return of Christ, I give no thought to the things that He cares about. Like those people who need to hear the gospel. Like those people who are living in slavery. Like those uh, half a million foster children living in America who nobody wants. Like those people in our community who don't have places to stay. I don't care about those things because I care more about myself. Jesus Christ is returning. And because He's returning, we ought to live with this sense of urgency that any day we will be standing before the King of Kings and Lord of Lords and we want to give an account before Him that's honoring to Him. Now let me ask you a question. How have you been living? Do you care about the things that He cares about? Or have you become complacent? Have you prioritized His kingdom? Or have you become callous? Do you care about His word and people hearing it? Or have you just become altogether corrupt? If that is you, Man, I I want to encourage you. Urgently seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only for yourself, but because of those who are going to come in contact with you. Because there are people out there who need Jesus Christ. And they need to hear about Him from you. The question is, do we care? Saints, I want to encourage you to do what my coach told me so long ago run your race like your hair's on fire it says in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 12 or chapter 12 verse 1 it says since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses those who have went before us and who have ran the race since Jesus is coming let us forsake the sin that so easily entangles us. And let us run that race that is marked out for us. Let us run it with urgency because that's the only way a race can be won if we run it with urgency. And let us run it urgently because the lake of fire is real and people are going there. Let us run with urgency because we serve a God who is a consuming fire. He is holy. And we will stand before him one day. And let's run it like our hair's on fire because we have the privilege of serving a God who has placed in us this burning passion that can only be satisfied in serving him. Let us be those that are not callous. Let us be those that are not uh, complacent. Let us be those who are not corrupt. 
but let us be those who are sold out for the kingdom of God. It's an urgent call. Souls are at stake. The question is, will we answer the call? Let's pray.